behalf of the Lake Como and Ridgely neighborhoods, it is my great honor to welcome you to the fire station number 16 groundbreaking ceremony. Now, yes, that's worthy of applauding. We know that fire stations and the courageous professionals that serve are part of the very fabric of our communities and our city. And it's important to note, although this will be a new facility, fire station number 16 is not new to our neighborhood. They've been here since 1965. And we are proud and appreciative of the new building and the incredible enhancements that are to come. And also, fire station number 16 has a very special bond with me because both fire station 16 and myself called our very first home in Lake Como in the 5900 block of Geddes. I'm a little older than the fire station, but I'm very proud. Now we have a very tight time schedule, so we're going to ask that each of our speakers, when you finish, please introduce the next speaker. That's everybody but the last speaker, because there won't be anybody for you to introduce. Having said that, it is my great honor to introduce Chaplain Cliff Weaver, Fire, Ch Fire Chaplain Cliff Weaver, who will bring our invocation. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day where we get to come together and just celebrate uh, something new and something big coming to our community. Uh, we thank you for all the hard work and all the planning and all the ideas that went into making this day come true. And first of all, we just pray for the firefighters that will work in this station, Father, that you would bless them. Thank you for all that they're going to accomplish in this community. We thank you for this station, Father, and just the, the beacon of hope that it is for this community and all the help that it will provide, Father. We ask this all in your name. Amen. And now we welcome our Honorable Mayor, Mayor Maddie Parker. Okay, how is everybody? I know these folks in the front row are incredibly excited about this groundbreaking for Station 16. We all are. That's right, give it a round of applause. So I'll, re I'll read this note because I think it's important. This station, which serves Como, Lake Como, and the Ridgely areas, where my family lives right here in Ridgely North, over 5,000 runs every single year, which is truly incredible. And as Chaplain Weaver said in his prayer and Estras alluded to, we first have to just give thanks for the, these brave men and women that serve the Fourth Fire Department, especially here at Station 16. We're going to give them a beautiful new home. I don't know what they're going to do if they can't walk across the street to Yoko Donuts, but locally they're not too far away, am I right? Um, we've got two great council people here, both Councilmember Williams and Councilmember Crane. I've never seen two men fight over an area like I did those two gentlemen fight over having Como as a community. But I think that really is a testament to how special this place is and the people and the community members that call this home. So give them a round of applause. I think y'all laughing because you know it's true. This is investing from the 2022 bond program in an over 60 year old fire station that desperately needed new digs. And that's what we're gonna do in this awesome spot. Um, thank you to Michael and to Garrick Williams for being here. I see Elizabeth here. Is anybody else here from council? David Cook I know is here. Thank you all for showing up because I know we're all very excited to celebrate alongside the rest of the city. This is happening across the city of Fort Worth, 350 square miles to serve. And we recognize that our firefighters deserve the world-class facilities to do their very important jobs. And we have other fire stations, including Station 43, that's under construction in Walsh in the west. And this is just a reflection of where the city of Fort Worth is headed. David Cook, thank you for doing such an awesome job leading this city for the last 10 years. 
I see Dana Bergdorf here, Valerie Washington. They all made this happen in this bond program. The last people I want to thank is, of course, to Batson Cook Construction. Where are those folks around the place? They're going to build this awesome facility. We are so excited you're a part of the team. Um, and we know you have an awesome commitment to the city of Fort Worth and our fire department. So thank you so much for being willing. And also to Marilyn, our brand new named property management director who helps build these awesome facilities for the city of Fort Worth. Thank you to Marilyn. Um, in closing, I'm going to hand this off to, to, to Jared Williams, but to the folks from Fort Worth and community members for believing in the city, for voting in that 22 bond program, and for understanding the importance of location in this place, because it wasn't easy to decide where this location should go. And it was actually really fortunate to have good representation from both Michael and Jared to help us reflect where the city needed to have this beautiful new fire station here off of Camp Bowie. So God bless each of you, and especially God bless the Fort Worth Fire Department. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mayor. Um, what a great day, everybody. Let's give a, a round of applause again for Mayor Parker and our leadership here, she's announced. It's, it's October 16th, station, Fire Station 16. It really is a great day for the community. And I want to say that this building, as a, she's alluded to it a little bit, uh, everybody remembers the Edmondson fried chicken that was here that had been dilapidated and unused for a couple of decades. Uh, a few other restaurants or other things that came through, but how exciting is it now there's a, going to be another gym in this community that's the gateway to Como, Lake Como. Very excited. But it's more than just bricks and mortar. This really is the gateway to the community here. And as Mayor's already alluded to, it, it will affect Lake Como, the Ridgely area neighborhoods, and in a wide swath of what's going on. It's a fabric of the community here too. We're steps from the Camp Bowie District. Um, the, in a weird quinky dink of how di redistricting worked, um, this actually fell in District 3, but I think if you walk about 15 steps, it falls into District 6. So that's the reason Jared and I are sharing this, and I, I would say it's been a, a fun adventure as we've pushed through some of the bureaucracy to get this finished. Um, but it also, this is a symbol of, of safety and security for Fort Worth residents. It's also a, a play, the strategic location and the advanced features will help these Guys, men and women here uh, play a crucial role in saving our, you know, our home, in, in, in homes, our businesses, and our loved ones sometimes too. Uh, I, I know how crazy sometimes Fourth of July can get down here with some of the fireworks because I get the calls. I think you probably get the calls now too. But having them safe or close to get to the, the homes here uh, and saving a lot of people, that's important. And I want to express my gratitude to everyone involved in making the project a reality. Uh, a lot of them have already been named. The city planners, our brave firefighters, and your dedication to public safety is commendable. And this is a collective investment for the safety uh, and, and making Fort Worth more safer and more resilient. And as we look to the future, let's remember that Fire Station 16, this will be a cornerstone. I'm hoping this is a, is, uh, uh, spurs a lot of growth in this area, maybe the convenience store across the street and down the, down, down the Horn Street as we really reimagine and invest in this community, which has always been a priority for me. So thanks for being here today, and I'll say together we're building a safer, stronger community for generations to come. And now it's my honor to introduce my friend, Dr. Jared Williams, council member for District 6. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Oh, come on, I'm a Baptist preacher. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, <laughs> amen. Um, it's an honor to serve alongside so many amazing people on the council. Um, I'm a firm believer in where two or three are gathered. There's a lot of blessing and good things that happen. And now that we have two council members focused on this area, uh, we get double the blessing. And so thank you, Michael, for your leadership. Um, it's a pleasure to um, work on projects with you. Um, I have a few notes that I just want to uh, share for the day. Um, first of all, um, this fire station um, is much needed. Um, it's, it's, it's a symbol for so much um, in our city and in our community. Um, and it's a resource that will enhance safety. It'll enhance emergency response times uh, for the residents, uh, not only of Lake Como, also Ridgely area and the entire city of Fort Worth. Um, and so your support of this project reflects um, a deep commitment that we all share in ensuring that we live in the safest city 
um, in the country. Um, not only does it help in that regard, and not only will there be fire services here, um, but as the city um, embarks on transitioning emergency medical services into the city underneath the fire department, this will also be um, a beacon for EMS services as well. Um, when we call 911, I mean, it's fire station 16 and all of our first responders um, who show up um, with a whole lot of uh, faith and courage um, and show up um, on time to serve us well. Um, and so this is an incredible, incredible project. Um, and I'm so excited for us to be able to break ground on it today. Um, more than that, though, this station is not just a building. Um, it's, a, it's a symbol for the ongoing investment that we as a city together are committed to um, and making bold investments to improve our health, the safety, and the well-being of all of our communities. Um, and more effective responses to fires and emergency medical situations ensure that all of our residents um, have the resources when and where they need it. And so I want to acknowledge um, all of you for supporting this amazing effort. I want to give a shout out to Fire Station 16. Um, our yeah, give them a round of applause. Um, to our fire department. Um, and also to our community leaders, Lake Como NAC. I see so many of our Como leaders here. I also saw Lydia here with the Camp Bowie District. Um, I know just within uh, the last almost two years that I've had the honor of serving um, um, Como, um, I've been on the cell phone nonstop with many of you, um, wondering and engaging on when will we break ground on Fire Station 16, and what are we going to do with the old Fire Station 16? <laughs> Um, both of those buildings are important assets, not only to our heritage as a city and as a community, um, but they're also um, lifelong pillars that we should continue investing in for the community. Um, and so thank you all again for bringing your voices to the table. Um, this is not any of our seats individually. This is all of our seats collectively. And so we are only as good as the engagement that we get. And it's obvious because we've made it here and, and, and we couldn't have done it without you all. Um, so I am proud to continue to work together um, as uh, both the mayor and Councilmember Crane um, said to continue to promote a, a safer, uh, more vibrant city, not only for um, each of us, but for our future kids. Little Jameson, my three month old, and Janelle, my 21 month old, to ensure that they, we are passing on something that is um, worthwhile and that helps them to achieve every boldest aspiration that they have. Uh, so again, thank y'all again. What an awesome day. Hats off to everyone involved. Um, and God bless y'all. Thank y'all. I got to come back to the mic again. I have the uh, awesome privilege of introducing our, our, our brave leader of the Fort Worth Fire Department, someone I admire and respect a whole heck of a lot, and someone who's taught me a lot about fire, uh, fire responses and also emergency medical services. Um, Chief Davis, and just before I do that, I see one of our other colleagues who has um, arrived. You know us preachers, we never show up on time anywhere. <laughs> but shout out to my colleague and friend and classmate, Councilmember Chris Nettles. Thank you for your support as well, being here. Um, without any further ado, um, please join me in welcoming our Chief, Chief Jim Davis. Well, good afternoon. Thank you so much. What a wonderful day. I want to thank everybody for being here. and. I, I, it's already been spoken to about the appreciation for the elected leaders and city management staff that have been here. So uh, I want to echo that. And I also want to thank the folks behind me. The men that stand behind me are part of a group of almost 1,100 people that represent the health and the wellness and the safety of this community on, a, on every day, on an everyday basis. And, and the fact that they're here is because they want to be here. They work in communities like this because they want to be here. So today, to have a turnout such as this on such a beautiful day by the community um, is very humbling. And I want to thank all of you for being here on behalf of this fire department and specifically this station. You know, the commitment um, of the city in a rapidly growing community such as Fort Worth has been unwavering. And it's, it's evident as we continue to grow. Um, however, I think we all recognize, we all realize that the fabric of a community is based in, in its core. And this is a community that's within the core and the heart of the city. And so we look forward, we look immensely forward to being a good neighbor here, to making 
the intersection at Brian Irving and Camp Bowie a little safer for everybody that's traveling through there to give other opportunities for growth in this area. And we want to make sure that you understand that part about being a good neighbor is that this facility is not just an emergency response location where people leave here to go solve the problems of the public, because that's, that's what we are, we're problem solvers. But it's also a place that people come when they have problems and they don't know what else to do, when they're lost and they need directions, when they have a, a child issue with illness in the middle of the night, when they can't take care of that child anymore, when they're a runaway, or when they just see somebody that they think's in distress on the street. People knock on the door, it doesn't matter if they just need their air pumped in a tire on a bicycle. But these facilities are open to the public for a reason, and that is because the men and the women that respond, that work out of these fire stations on a 24-hour basis, these are their homes. They are invested in this community a third of their life, and therefore, when you see them, and you see them at the grocery store, or you see them on the street at Iran, understand that they are part of your community. They are just not somebody that's here to provide services to you. They are invested in this community, and this is why they work here. So I realize I'm the last person standing between the mayor coming back up and inviting people to come and get this project underway. So let's do this. And I, again, on behalf of the Fort Worth Fire Department, I want to thank everyone from city leadership, city council, the neighborhood associations of both Como and Ridgelia, thank you so much for your support along the way. And we look forward to being back here in uh, about 18 months and opening this facility. So thank you very much. Mayor.